Let's dive into the Cannonball Jellyfish. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and click that notification bell if you love the ocean as much as I do. The Cannonball Jellyfish gets its name from the rounded appearance that it has, which makes it look like a cannonball. They are commonly washing up on shores in some places, and I have actually seen this jellyfish wash the shore a couple of times. Like the big red jellyfish, this jellyfish does not have any tentacles, but they do have the oral feeding arms which it uses to eat. These jellies eat zooplankton or red drum larvae, red drum is a kind of fish, that drift through the water and gets caught in their feeding arms. These jellies can produce asexually and sexually, depending on whether or not the animal is fully developed. Once the animal is a single polyp, earlier in the life cycle, it reproduces asexually. But when it is a medusa, or later in the life cycle, the jellyfish state, it reproduces sexually. They are one of the least venomous of all jellies, and they grow to about 10 inches in diameter. The jellyfish can release a toxic mucus when it is threatened, or it can use this mucus to help secure prey, oftentimes trapping the prey and making it easy for the jellyfish to obtain. This jellyfish is the main food source for the largest sea turtle on the planet, the leatherback sea turtle, and their sting is very, very mild, oftentimes only causing a slight irritation. However, if you do get stung in the eyeball, that would be a different situation. Cannonball jellies are actually eaten as food in some Asian countries and also used as traditional medicine. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, smash that like button, and comment what your favorite thing you learned about this jellyfish is down below.